And our last video on Tujada in Memoriam by Pauli Marshall. We'll finish off by looking at the themes in this short story and some essay questions to get you thinking. So some themes that we can see in this short story are urban versus rural, young versus old, dada versus society, pride, living in the past and loss of family and tragedy. There will no doubt be more themes in this story, but this is what we will focus on. So urban versus rural. The narrator has grown up in New York City, even though she, her ancestry is Barbadian, she's never been to Barbados before. So therefore she's grown up with a view of the world that all cultures are equal and technology is in abundance. There's lots of it. Although you should remember that this story was set in the 1930s, so it's not technology like we know it today. So it's not phones, computers, televisions, internet, ETC, but still the technology that was around at the time was still very new and exciting for the world. However, Dada has spent her whole life on the island of Barbados, which is a very rural area with lots of trees and sugar canes, etc. So she's grown up with a belief of racial and gender hierarchies, which means that she thinks that um, white people are better than black people, or she believes that there's a hierarchy at least. And while she might not believe herself that white people are better than black, she believes that society does. She also believes in a gender hierarchy, so men are more important than women. Notice that we don't see any men in this story. She also has grown up with a fear of technology. And you should find a quote to show that. Young versus old. The narrator and her grandmother live in two completely different societies. The narrator lives in a young and modern society, which is New York City. And she still has so much in her life to experience because when she's telling this story in the flashback, she's still only nine years old, so she's still a child. While Dada is in the twilight of her life, she's 80 or more, so she's elderly, and she's close to death. The grandmother, having lived in a different time period than the narrator, has had different experiences and she has grown accustomed to, or grown used to, her way of living and her rural life. And she finds it very difficult to imagine anything different. Dada versus society. She's stuck in the past, clearly, because she still believes in the social dominance theory which means that white males are the most dominant right down to the bottom of the hierarchy where black females are and black females are the least dominant. Have a think about how we can see this in the story. She also disapproves of the progress of technology as it's completely foreign to her and therefore it scares her. What examples can you find where Dada is scared of technology? You should find some quotes to, sh to show this. Pride. Well, pride often has positive connotations, like you can be proud if you win a swimming race or proud if you pass an exam, but it can also have negative connotations. So if you have an unreasonably high sense of your own personal status, accomplishments, ability, person, then pride is not a good thing. 
the pride of the narrator. She's very proud of her lifestyle in New York City and she shows off about this. When she tells her grandmother about beating up the white girl in school, we can see this. It shows that she has enough pride to stand up for herself, even though this would have been very difficult for a black girl in 1930s America. She doesn't let the white girl walk all over her, she stands up to herself. Something the, that is completely alien to the grandmother. Another example of the narrator's pride is when she paints a picture of her life for her grandmother. She talks about singing and dancing and she sings and dances for her. She talks about her lifestyle, she talks about the Empire State Building, she talks about the snow in New York, she talks about the technology. And this is an example of how proud she is of her life. And you should find some quotes to show the narrator's pride. Dada is just as proud of her life in Barbados as her granddaughter is of her life in New York. And this we can see continuously throughout the story when she asks the narrator if she has various fruits or plants back home. And she says, I bet you have nothing as nice as this. She's also very proud of the sugarcane that's grown on the island as this is the biggest export that Barbados has and it's where a lot of their money comes from. Um, she's also proud of the Caribbean culture and her pride is rooted in the idea that she has something that the narrator does not and that is nature an easier, easy, more easygoing way of life. And you should try and find some quotes to show Dada's pride. Living in the past is another theme in this story. Throughout the story, the grandmother shows characteristics that represent not being able to move on from the past and move towards the future. Her granddaughter, on the other hand, being a typical child, represents the future. So we often say that children represent the future. They are what will become of the world. Um, and here is a quote to show that the granddaughter, Paulie Marshall, represents the future. And it's talking about the technology. Loss of family and tragedy is the last theme we'll look at. The tragedy in this story takes place in the denouement, which means the conclusion or the resolution of the story. When the narrator receives the news of her grandmother's death after she leaves the island. And the narrator doesn't take it well. She didn't even have time, well it says here she doesn't have time to send the promised postcard. She did send the postcard, but what I meant was she didn't have, there wasn't enough time for the postcard to arrive in Barbados before the grandmother died. And she also feels how, she feels bad about how competitive she was with her. Maybe she looks back and, and wishes that she had been less competitive with her. Some um, essay questions to think about in your revision for To Dadara Memoriam. This one is focusing on the ending of the story. How does Marshall's writing make this moment so sad in the story? So you'd focus on the Empire State Building, the 1937 airstrike, the death of Dada, and how the narrator deals with this. Explore the ways in which Marshall shows the importance of home in this story. 
um, both the home of the narrator and the home of Dada and how it helps to build their identity. How does Marshall make the character of Dada so compelling? Compelling in the way that she makes her both interesting and likeable. How does Marshall vividly convey the relationship between a grandparent and granddaughter? So you'd focus on the clear love that is um, conveyed by Marshall between the two of them, and you would may you would talk about um, the competition between them and how they. When they first meet each other, neither of them are really sure about each other. You might also want to talk about the difference between the relationship between Dada and her daughter and Dada and Paulie Marshall. Because there is a clear difference in the story between those two relationships. How does Marshall convey the lack of understanding in this story? So there's a lack of understanding between, sorry, there's a lack of understanding of Dada with New York, a lack of understanding of how the narrator leads her life, but there's also a lack of understanding on the part of the narrator of how a simple life in Barbados can make people intensely happy. In what ways does Marshall strikingly contrast Dada and the narrator? So this would be the difference of age, the difference of tradition and modernity, and the difference between urban and rural life. Explore the way that Marshall persuades you that there are similarities between Dada and the narrator. So this last one is talking about the contrast. This one is about the similarities. So although there are lots of differences between the two characters, there's also lots of similarities. <clears throat> They're both incredibly stubborn. Um, they are both very strong-willed and they both clearly have a lot of love for each other. And they are both very proud of where they come from and their identities. So, good luck in Tudadara Memoriam.